It's not dry, Mr. Tenderton. You can't keep jumping up out from underneath the dryer like that. Now, Ethel, please put this kind lady back underneath the heat oh, for another sure. 15 minutes or so. Thank you very much. Whew. Hi. Well, hi, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in high school or something? Yeah, well, I had a free period and I thought I'd just come by and say hello. Oh, really? Hmm? Well, actually, um, I need your help. With what? Mama, do you mind if I call you Opal? Because it makes my life a whole lot simpler. Well, well by all means, make things simple for yourself. Call me whatever you want to. Thank you. You know, you wouldn't believe how expensive school stuff is nowadays. No, I probably wouldn't believe it. Yeah, well, see, I've got myself in a, in a real tight spot with all these academic expenses, and I wondered if you'd be sweet enough just to lend me a, loan, a, a little loan for a couple of days. Oh, you're kidding me. I mean, you came here after some money? Oh, Opal, would you check Mrs. Hendricks, please? You bet I will. Excuse me, son. Now, let's see. Yeah, no, nope. you need really about 15 more minutes, so don't get up, okay? It'll be great. That's not fair. It's not my fault all this stuff is so expensive. Besides, I I'm really far behind in school. Not only have I got to buy books, I've got to rent myself a tutor to help me catch up. Let me ask you something, Ted. What are you coming to see me about this for? Aren't the Martins supposed to be looking after you? Well, sure, they gave me some money better than that. Okay, well, ask them for what you need. But I hate to keep going back to them. So you prefer to come to me? <laughs> oh, what nerve, boy. Sure. I mean, look around. You're doing great. And besides, I was starting to feel a little differently about you. How differently about what? Well, you are my natural mother. It's just natural that I should come to you. Dad, I think you and I better get something straight right now. Please don't try to take advantage of me because of this natural mother business. Well, I am your son. I, mean, I wasn't trying to take advantage of you. Yeah? Well, you certainly didn't seem too proud of the fact that I was your mama the other day in that courtroom. Matter of fact, it seemed to me like you wished your natural mama would just drop right off the face of the earth that day. But you weren't supposed to take me seriously. No, I was just doing that because of the judge and everything. Sure, sure, I don't remember. Well, I remember, honey. And it hurt my feelings very, very much. So if you've come after some money from me, I think you better just forget it. But you got me all wrong. Yeah. All I want to do is get a little closer to you, that's all. Well, that doesn't cut a whole lot of ice with me, Ted. I'm sorry. You mean you're turning me down? That's right. Flat. Now, I suggest that you go on to high school, honey. Get yourself an education. Yeah, now I get it. You don't want Erica to get better. Oh, I can't believe you'd accuse me of that. Figured with Erica going off the spool, I'd lose interest in her, right? And then you could have me all to yourself. How could you even think such a thing? Do you deny that you want me? No. Hmm. No, I don't, but I know I can't have you all to myself. No woman can. Exactly. So I'm happy just to share you. Can't I swear on my life that Erica comes first? She has first claim on you. Good. I'm glad you realize that. And that's why you cannot stop me from standing here to see a shrink. No, but I've got her up and changed the lemon and they're almost... What are you two? What are you two have your heads together all about? <laughs> Linda, Linda uh, it's Cliff Warner. Well, hello, Cliff. Uh, I was hoping you'd call. Well, uh, I was hoping that uh, maybe you're still 
free tonight. Well, my place or yours? Well, you two are as transparent as glass. Oh, and what, what brought this on? Well, what were you talking about? When I came in here, all of a sudden, you two just shut up like clams. Oh, I was just saying, um, what a fabulous location the museum is for your first Erica commercial. You're a terrible liar, Silver. You were whispering about me, weren't you? You were saying that I was just going to ruin the whole commercial shoot. No, that's not so, is it, Kent? <laughs> Erica, I have complete confidence in you. Well, why shouldn't you? Because the whole shoot is going to be a big success. It's going to be oh. fabulous. I mean, the first half of the shoot is going so beautifully, and the second half is going to go even better. I can't wait to see how it goes. Oh, well, then you should be out there watching. You shouldn't just stay cooped up in here. I mean, come outside and just watch a pro at work. Well, would you like to? Yeah, I'd love to. I mean, I always enjoy watching Erica on camera. Yeah. Oh, well, then this is the time to watch me, because I have never been so sure of what I'm doing. Hey, that's like the Erica I know and love. <laughs> well, then go on, get out there. Let me change. Go ahead, oh, shoot. Okay, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Got a Jew, she was great. <laughs> oh, gosh, there you are. Erica wants you to come watch the next segment. They're just about ready to start. I would, I wouldn't miss it. No, no, would I. Well, were you proud of your sister? Yes, I really am, Mr. Bogart. I thought she was absolutely brilliant this morning. Oh, I'm glad you're pleased. That's because I took a hard line with her. I told her I wouldn't tolerate any fallops, and the result was obvious. Well, be that as it may, uh, let's go and watch our star in action. <laughs> <laughs> 